If you need to create a cut across a bend, there is a specific process you must follow. It involves using the unfold and fold features. One thing many new users will do is simply flatten a part using the flatten icon on the sheet metal toolbar and then create cuts across bends. I want to take a moment to show you why this is the wrong approach. I'll click the flatten button from the sheet metal toolbar and create an extruded cut across one of the bends. When the cut is complete, notice that the cut extrude feature is located below the flat pattern feature in the feature manager tree. When I click the flatten button, you can see that the cut extrude is suppressed. This is because any feature you add in the flattened state becomes a child of the flat pattern feature. This is why it is important not to work on your sheet metal part in the flattened state. The proper way to add a cut across a bend is to first unfold the bend using the unfold feature. To do this, click on the unfold button from the sheet metal toolbar. As you can see in the property manager, all you need to do is pick a face to remain fixed. Then pick a bend or multiple bends to unfold. If you want to unfold the entire part, use the Collect All Bends button to quickly select every bend. To select a bend, all I have to do is click on the bend region and it will be added to the list. When the bends are selected, click OK and the bends will unfold. Now I can open up a sketch and create an extruded cut across a bend. I will sketch a circle and choose the option to link to thickness in the cut extrude properties. Once the cut is complete, I will use the fold feature to refold the flattened bends. I'll click the fold button from the sheet metal toolbar to activate the command. Notice the fixed face is already selected. This comes from the unfold command. All I have to do now is select the bends to refold or click the Collect All Bends button to add the bends to the list. With the bends selected, I'll click the green check. You can see that the cut appears above the flat pattern feature in the Feature Manager tree and it wraps around the bend as you would expect. 